No, you have, when you hit it, you have to let me know immediately. So, so you let. Hit it now. Now? Okay, so we are live. So uh, I highly recommend for the first demo part, uh, watch it on your Oculus Quest 2 VR headset or the brand new Pico Neo 3 VR headset. You have one of those uh, with the YouTube VR app. So you see how good the image quality is in VR. I actually do not really know. I mean, I did the first test with you can already, but I don't really know the quality except on our custom build Unity app. So. Let's see how YouTube VR gonna handle this multi-camera live stream. But anyway, this is my studio, and here, here, if you turn around, you see Kitty here monitoring the comments. So please ask all the question. Uh, if you saw the first one, uh, go ahead and ask the question. If you are just joining right now, continue to ask question. Like every gear you see here, you can ask question, and we we'll try to answer it. But today, I really want to show you the possibility of multi-camera 360 live stream. And how does it actually look like? So let me just run through the demo so I can show you what it can be. So in my studio right now, I can, if you look at the window right here, I have a quick 2D picture-in-picture -picture switching right here. Uh, the black magic is not working. Oh, the Sony is not on yet. So let me turn on the Sony first. Okay, to make sure Sony is on. Oh, the Sony battery is dead already. So uh, we gotta have Sony. Uh, Kitty, if it's possible, oh, actually no. Uh, we got a Sony backup. So because uh, the battery run now in the first test. So yeah, now, now uh, the 2D camera backup again, as you see, you can see my face and you can see my setup right here. And now let me run you the test to see how it look like. Okay. So, uh, I mean, you see enough of my studio already. So let's, how about go outside and check it out. Okay, so outside we have Kimchi. Hopefully you see him running around. Uh, I don't see him running around. I don't know where Kimchi went. So I decided to maybe throw a tennis ball to see if I can get him. Hey, Kimchi. Okay. So hopefully you see our news reporter Kimchi outside running around. Uh, so look around. This this is captured with the, our first outside camera. So reporter Kimchi should play his ball. But if not, you can't find him. Let's go on to a wide shot to really look for Kimchi. Hmm. Okay, now we are in a wider shot. Uh, I think the lower third probably blocking Kimchi. Uh, well. Where's kimchi? But anyway, this is the wider shot of my yard. This is warning on Wi-Fi, so it's kind of crazy. So in Creator Up, we have a lot of amazing video editor will help us to produce a lot of VR content every single day, and they are the real hero behind Creator Up. So I really want to show you the real hero, so let me just cut to the editing bait right now. Ta-da! Now you see the creator of real headquarters. Yes, it's Baby Yoda and Fat Yoda. Uh, I don't think, I think Baby Yoda just fell <laughs> and only Fat Yoda is left uh, on the studio right there. So yes, it's been a long day, you know, Baby Yoda might just go out there and get some drink and just let Fat Yoda handle the live stream and look at me talking. But anyway, uh, so Baby Yoda actually told me that there is currently crazy traffic jam happening in 101 in Hollywood. So let's actually go to our sky cam with the helicopter to check out 101 right now in Hollywood. Now, hopefully, you're watching this. Uh, you see. All of traffic uh, that is also just pretty congested, so it's kind of like a um, bad place to be. So instead of looking at ourselves, let's actually just do something else. Look it in our ocean cam. So the ocean cam is like something that really inspired me to capture 360 camera. Uh, by the way, Kimchi is coming into the studio right now. Uh, Maybe not a good idea, Kitty. 
So while you're watching our ocean cam, uh, our headquarters studio, uh, actually, let me just cut to it right now. If you turn around, actually, you have to come over this way, Kitty, because that uh, have a PIP blocking. So you see our actual superstar kimchi right here. Uh, like multiple camera can see it. Uh, let me cut to the camera, you can see it. <laughs> so, uh, so Little we, rascal. I know, we have a special guest joining us on this live panel. Uh, and kimchi. Yeah, so just be careful, kimchi might be kind, not be here. There's too many cable and uh, HDMI cable running around. So if Kitty, you can be kind to escort kimchi out the studio. No, please uh, stay. I will be super appreciated I'll because know everything, I mean, he's biting at the power cable. He's not biting it, he's sniffing it. <laughs> well, everything, if you trick, the whole system ran down. So, uh, That'd be kind of funny. I, uh, it's gonna be funny on a live show. So, uh, our special guest, Kimchi, is gonna about this job, this live stream. If anything go down, you know what happens. Speak up, Kimchi. But, so, uh, what I have one more thing to show you. So, our friend Leah tonight is actually going on her first blind day and we want to find out what Leah got to wear because she is a model so let's cut to Leah why now that's a little creepy Hugh <laughs> <laughs> that's creepy, that's creepy. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, Leah lives in downtown Los Angeles so we have to fight back uh, to downtown Los Angeles and Kimchi by the way she stole something uh, Wow, Leah wears a very questionable outfit tonight. Are you sure you should let her go out on the first day? Blind day? Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Okay, so uh, we should cut back on kimchi and see if you can see him stole the water bottle. Um, where's kimchi? But anyway, while you're looking at kimchi, I gotta reset the entire setup. Uh, Kitty, uh, any, any people watching right now? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, sorry about that. I forgot to cut the music on because the helicopter pilot just loved to jam on his like new disco music. Uh, anyway, let me just go ahead and reset a lot of stuff, and then I will dive into the thing. Okay. So the question is: the outside helicopter is underwater, but it was pre-recorded, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, you guys are smart. No, yep, uh, we don't own a helicopter or a submarine to capture this amazing footage live for you guys. Uh, so those are pretty recorded footage. But it was just to show that we can switch live. Yeah. We need the switcher. Hmm. You? Yes. Uh, so, 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 sorry, I'm trying to set up uh, because in real life, you should not be the, the host, the presenter, and and uh, the sound the guy, switcher. and the switcher, and, and yeah. doing with live comment, and directing, and running six camera. I mean, in reality, you should never do that in live show, but since we're understaffed, nice yeah, and, and we're in pandemic, so you gotta wear a lot of hat to, to do a live show. And Kitty, when I was trying to make sure Kimchi doesn't bite and the outside camera right there, uh, actually, we can switch with it. People can see. Well, people can see you right now. You are you're the main camera. So, uh, um, go ahead. Okay. Uh, in enough of outside cam. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back inside the studio right here. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, yeah, I'm back to studio right now. So, um, again, uh. Let me just make sure that uh, I gotta run my script. Hmm. Okay, so now you see all that. Do you wanna learn how to build the entire live broadcast new studio? If you see we are, well, well, this live masterclass happening right now, we'll show you exactly how to do that so if you just want to hire us to do that for you though uh, the whole creative team with all this crazy stuff into your venue drop us a comment down below or just email us for those DIY viewers just want to 
figure out how to do that and this is the the entire video that uh, we're gonna show you um, yeah I'll make sure that I cover everything, so right. Uh, so yeah, uh, so this is the video we're gonna show you. But again, we're doing this literally like completely free with love. So just don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this live video a like and send Kitty some tip sticker in the live chat session. You know, she's working for us for free and she worked really hard. Uh, so if you guys can buy her a coffee, just follow her on Instagram. Uh, that will be highly appreciated. So. Now I'm going to go off script here to really teach you step by step my complete setup. So please feel free to ask questions so Kitty can bring them all up in a Q&A session at the end of the live stream of this masterclass. So okay, so now let's talk about it. What you just want, what is going on? So the first camera you see right now right here is captured by the CoolCam AK Enterprise. So how the feed coming in? So the 4K 30 frame per second, uh, Frame rate priority mode is piling in. If you look at the Cookie AK look down with the HDMI. So Cookie AK Enterprise is the only high-end VR camera, professional grade, that provide direct HDMI out with a stitch AK 260 footage. And that's why we can use that directly into our as our live stream source without stitching, which is amazing, very important, right? So it's going through the cam link right here. It's very cheap, it's like 100 bucks thing. Going through the cam link, convert it into 4K uh, HDMI and pile it into my computer as this camera you can right now. Can you walk right in? And again, all the PIP, now if you actually look at the, on, the, on this side of the window, you see this camera, the Blackmagic 6K, and showing you my stream deck. So we have in here, this is my microphone. You can hear my voice really nice. So why you should use an XLR microphone in actual live stream is because it sounds amazing. So uh, it sounds a little bit creepy. Uh, but the reason why I want to show you guys is there's a many way to capture audio uh, on a live set. So right here, we're supposed to set up, a, uh, if you see right here, the Blackmagic camera, uh, we, we're supposed to set up uh, just, you know, the wireless microphone to really keep uh, uh, audio as a lavalier mic. Usually, we give you the really good audio, right? And going into the A10 Mini Pro ISO right here, and as an uh, audio so that I can turn on and off. I don't want to turn it on because it's going to be noise. Uh, on and off, so you can cue that in. So if you have a speaker, like just now, if I got a loud kimchi and love her, I love her, I can actually wire her. And this is my second audio input through the A10 Mini Pro go into the VMAX, uh, well, I, I want to tell you the secret already, uh, what I'm using right there. Uh, but yeah, going into the software uh, to have my second audio saw, but the main audio saw, we want to still use a professional microphone on the venue where the MC gonna use to talk. Uh, so that's why if you want to have an absolute best audio, make sure your audio is coming in and expand. XLR cable right here. And what I have right here is obviously overkill uh, is the Pro FX16 V3. Very expensive mixer, literally control everything. Uh, what DJ use, but we're just using it to control the volume right here so we have clear audio. So audio is important, so don't just like ignore audio uh, in VR production. A lot of VR filmmaker usually like, you know, Kitty, Kitty might know a lot of VR filmmaker uh, that is not really focused on audio. And on live stream, it's extremely important to have a good audio. So I, I would invest into a big, nice mixer before I invest in a more camera. So that is the audio setup. And again, uh, the video setup, the 2D PIP provide live switching. We can connect to up to four camera in this setup. Right now you see my face. And now again, you see my setup really fast. We offload the processing power of the computer into the A10 Mini Pro, and that is we call it the pandemic live stream uh, setup because Blackmagic literally make that stuff because pandemic. So everybody can have a live stream studio at their home to do interview, uh, do all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, unfortunately, this thing only output 1080p. Uh, so that's why we can only use that as a uh, 2D PIP, but also can queue graphic on this thing too. So you can have like VR graphic, uh, queue it into the program and into the deck so you can queue it live. Uh, why not directly connect to the CoolCam AK uh, HDMI directly into the A10 Mini Pro? The reason why is CoolCam actually output 4K all the way up to 8K stitch music video. So the A10 Mini only 
uh, even this is a pro, right? This is a thousand dollars, seven hundred dollars uh, pro version of it can only take up to 1080p. So come on, Black Magic, please develop new hardware so we can really use a VR live stream. So that's why we can't have a direct 360 signal into the A10 Mini. So we had to go to the computer directly, bypass this whole setup, but still great setup if you want to have like the ESPN feed into your live stream. So that is that. And what else you see? Uh, and then different camera, you just like different camera kill it into the set. So uh, by the way, everything have to be wired in. If you look down in the Kuken AK 260, you see that the net gear little box right there, they are gigabit ethernet router. Uh, so everything route hardwired in the CAT 6 cable into the router so we can run in RTSP and NDI. So that's the next thing we're going to find there. Let me switch to the next camera. And let's hope we still see kimchi outside. Uh, he's in the shade right now. He's doing something weird uh, just by being kimchi. Um, I'll go out there and play with them. Yeah, Kitty will go out there and play with them. So you can see like the absolute best quality uh, 360 camera, which is the techie 360 anywhere. So I test so many 360 camera, including the, the Insta 360 Pro 2, right? Uh, no other camera have a straight out best 4K, 30 frame to 60 frame quality in a tech kit to just see anywhere. So if you do anything spot wide, require fast frame rate, live stream capture, like 60 frame, you can't do 120 frame, just not in VR just yet. But if you want 60 frame, and that is a really good option, not seeing the cool cam AK Enterprise can't do 60 frame, can also 60 frame. Uh, but Compared to both image quality in a high frame rate capture, the tech kit to see anywhere is, is better. And as you see, like, it also have really just good image quality, really sharp, and you can really zoom in. Let me just turn the label off so you can really see like Kitty and Kimchi playing, and you can see the detail of this camera. Again, uh, the sun kind of moves so under the shape, so it's the image, the image kind of like contrast-ish. Um, but yeah, this camera is also how wire in with Ethernet cable into the studio, into the net gear here. That's why we provide like, like uncompromised quality. But this camera is not going to HDMI. Uh, it's going to something called RTMP, uh, sorry, RTSP. So a security uh, protocol that goes through the wire of my network into the net gear. We have a network here, right? We have internet here. Duh. Uh, but the signal going through the CAT6 all the way route into the computer, so that's why we have signal. Later on, I will actually show you what I'm doing with the techie. The techie has to actually process in this computer and then showing, uh, uh, showing it to us. Uh, in the ideal scenario, you want to offload this to a different computer, so you just, you're not doing live stitching on a little laptop right here. Using the, the Razer Studio 15 right here, it's a powerful little machine. Two years old now, it's kind of like outdated, but it can still run this 360 live stream, no problem. Actually, there's a problem, but I will show you next. So, let's move on to the next camera. I keep playing, Kitty. I gotta run to the next camera. So now, you can see the next camera. Uh, uh, actually, they came out facing the sun right now. The sun is setting in California. Uh, Kitty is caught in the sun. Uh, anyway, that is captured with that lab panel pilot error. Uh, it's a two years old camera, but it is an 8K camera and it's an excellent live stream camera. If for live stream, that is actually one of the best high quality camera. Uh, it's not really good in the sun because you see lens fair, uh, but if you look around, I mean, the image quality is comparable with the Cool Cam AK and a Tech 260 anywhere. Again, that's an 8K camera. So look around, and if you look down, you notice also one thing. We have an idea patch, a custom, or uh, the camera is the, uh, the other one. Yeah, so, so uh, let me just try to hide this logo. Oops. Uh, hide the wrong thing, guys, sorry. Uh, so yeah, let me just go ahead and hide the label so you guys can see uh, a kitty and kimchi in the very the sun, you see it's really good, right? That is, uh, you can see the C-Shot as well. That is the left panel, left panel pilot error. So good. So uh, again, if you look down, you see a custom idea patch that is added in post. Uh, again, uh, before today, 
as you know, only Kuken aka Enterprise have software that can really do that uh, to have a custom Nadia patch so you can put your sponsor logo on the bottom. So, so you can really sell your live stream in a way that you can make money back fast. Uh, besides that, the other way you can do it, it's gonna cost you at least 3000 which is the voices. Uh, so it's really cool that we can actually do that uh, with way less cost. Uh, and you can turn it on and off and swap load, swap a graphic to, to have different nice sponsor and idea patch. You're gonna cover your tripod anyway because you can't do VFX in live production. So that is a good way to cover your feet, right? Okay, let's go to the next camera which is inside the studio. Yes. Oh no, now I'm in the studio now. We're, uh, oh, now we are in the, uh, the in my studio with uh, with Yoda right now, so <laughs> yeah, so so I can't, I can't right now. Okay, so Kitty asked me to switch back to the other camera, so uh, let me go. Okay, now we are, you're live, Kitty, you're live. Okay, so Kitty gonna spray some water on the camera, a live stream. And you really see that the pixel breakdown there. Uh, again, it's live uh, through my laptop, so uh, it's really like testing my, my GPU, uh, which is great. Uh, let's hope she did not spray my camera. It's kind of nerve wracking uh, when, when let Kitty in control. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna cut away to back to. Our editor. So uh, our editor room right here with uh, Baby Fat Yoda uh, is captured by the Lab Panel Pilot 1 Yi Yi. So it's the newest version of the Pilot 1. It's a new camera. Um, this camera is exactly the same image quality as the Pilot Era. It's just smaller, lighter. Uh, and by the way, both Pilot camera go on Wi-Fi right now. Yes, again, Wi-Fi is not cable. So I just want to emphasize. Uh, those cameras go on Wi-Fi. So it's, again, live production, very risky. You, uh, you should always use Cat6 cable. Cat6 cable, go, uh, go to RTSP or NDI into your router and your machine to do live stream. And you should never go on Wi-Fi, especially if you're broadcasting in a sport event with a lot of people with a cell phone happening. But I just want to show you that, like, you can, in a pinch, you can go with your 5G network, go live in 4k or even 8k so so that is the that's only i mean that's only possible on the pilot lab panel pilot camera both the pilot era pilot air and pilot one ee -E, uh, can do that and this is their specialty is make it super easy that simple to go live with those camera and again we go live with wi-fi and then send out an RTMP stream into our home network. So this those camera have no cable connect to it. Basically, you can move around easily, right? And just stream through the, the magic of the internet and 5G, Wi-Fi, and whatnot, and go back into my router and stream into the computer. That's how you see that two cameras. So it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. And then all the other fancy drone footage, underwater footage, and all the other footage. If you follow my channel, you know that that's pretty cool. It. It's called package. Uh, so live stream. Uh, I would say 50% live, 50% uh, professional live stream, we create package. What package meaning is we pre-capture all of stuff before the event, doing the event with a nicer camera. Uh, you have more time to really make it look great and just put it into the videos as a cutaway because live event, right? Uh, you never know what's gonna happen, like, like what just happened. It's like the first live stream is a nightmare. Uh, so that's why you have package to cut away. Uh, but sometimes you can really use it for uh, news broadcast, but honestly, all news broadcast is packaged. And they capture that stuff and they send it back to the studio. They cut it in. It's not really live. I mean, it's a fake live. It's a tape to life. So there's other industry secret about how to, you can use package to really make your live stream more, look more professional in a way. So I hope you get a lot of information already on this uh, like professional live stream of all this came out all work together. Uh, again, I want to cut away from. Yoda, so you don't stare at Yoda. And now you can see me again. Uh, so uh, hopefully you get a lot. Oh, you can see my face right here. Uh, yes, so let me make sure that you see my streaming dead deck right here. Okay. 
Yeah, you see my dad right there. So, uh, hopefully you actually learn a lot like this like live stream. Again, I go off script. Um, so I actually want to show you the brain of this whole operation. So all this camera going into my computer, either through HDMI, uh, or either through RTSP or NDI into my computer. Yeah, I got a question for you. Okay. What router do you have to get uh, be able to do 4K 360 camera streaming? Well, any any router work, like any of the shell consumer uh, router work on Best Buy, uh, it's not the measure of a router because uh, it's your internet provider <laughs> and also like make sure that the no latency when you're running or cable because I the router provide Wi-Fi but most of the time I don't use Wi-Fi I use you look down right here the net gear right there hot wire in gigabit Ethernet some of the camera can also provide PoE called power over Ethernet uh, so power on your camera but my suggestion is always go with a cable if you can HDMI cat 6 uh, fiber optic, whatever you use. Bring up a really other good question. HDMI versus RTSP. So, RTSP, uh, not an NDI, they actually have a delay. So, uh, about 300 millisecond delay. Meaning that that cannot be your main camera because if you get a delay, you gotta off sync my audio with the visual, and that is a huge issue in, in live stream. Again, you can like delay your audio to match the camera, but then you need to match with other live camera at the same time who's streaming into NDI or HDMI. So, so that is a huge issue right now in the industry. Uh, like both lab panel, pilot one, and you can see anywhere, tech you can see anywhere, they all rely straight on RTSP. There's no NDI source uh, and there's no HDMI. So that's why I make them actually kind of hard to use as a main camera, uh, especially on live event that had to like, you know, right on the time, at uh, one point, you can't do that. So that's why our main camera, as you see right here, is a cool camera, AK Enterprise with an HDMI. But HDMI have its own problem. HDMI, any cable longer than five meter, probably gonna send you pretty bad signal. So make sure that when you buy an HDMI cable, fiber optic. You need to use fiber HDMI cable in above 2.1, in above to set, to receive enough signal in 4K all the way up to 8K in 60 frames per second. And there's a tip for you. So uh, again, uh, this, is, this is set up, I mean, if you don't count the camera uh, and the hardware, the whole setup is probably cost around a thousand dollars, and and that's a, your hard cost. And then you get we produce as many live streams as possible to make money to reset the cost. Uh, so again, you can go super professional. That's why we have this that link AK right here. I'm gonna show you the uh, what the high end. Does. So high end professional use a software called Voices uh, or Install360. Actually, have their own software uh, with their Titan camera or uh, with their Pro2 camera. Then allow you to Output 8K stitch video into a Deadlink 8K car right here, the Blackmagic car, and then output SDI out and 8K into a HyperDeck and Blackmagic, and then you can do uh, multi camera stitching. But each camera setup comes with a camera and big server computer, not this little computer, but you got like a big one with like RTX 3090, 3080 minimum, right? Graphic card to really processing. So each camera probably already costs like 20,000 budget, right? So if you have like three camera, we're talking about easily $100,000 production. So if you wanna go 8K, you wanna go like really high quality, yes, you can, but it can be expensive. So what, what, what about this production? You see multi-camera live stream with switching with everything, right? So this thing, let me just go ahead and switch to outside because it's sunset. Uh, we don't wanna look at the sun, so we'll, we'll show you the sun. Uh, you know what, actually the sun is not that great, so let's come back <laughs> into here. Uh, so on this setup, uh, let me actually point this camera to Do it. we have a question from Bo asking, will you have an overview sketch blueprint over your system? Uh, yeah, I, I can like totally. notes on what you're using today? Yeah, I can totally do that. Uh, my, my GH, no GH, but my Sony is dead already. Let me put it down. What up? So now I actually gotta do something live to really show you my desktop. Uh, that's haven't been done before, but I gotta modify my blueprint live right now uh, to really add a new camera source. Let me see if I can make that happen. So now it's going to a crazy territory. Uh, I think I can. 
uh, I can add as a NDI source. Yeah. Yeah. Pray to God. Pray to God. Okay. Right. Okay, let me quickly show you uh, what's going on uh, by actually changing the. So bear with me, I, I'm doing it like I gotta redo my blueprint live right now. Um, camera can't see it. Kitty. <gasps> Watch out! <laughs> that is everything. That literally is everything. Like every. Everything. Like, 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 really, 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 really watch out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That is literally bring the whole thing down. This is the most We're important. Good. We're good. Woo! Woo! Guys, like, like, that's why you don't bring a dog. Uh, 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 please put it down. Uh, that is really loose. It's really loose. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. This gap tape, people. Yeah, this is really what junk. What is Q doing in here? It's like mad scientist. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. Don't judge me. Is that mine? Uh, wait, I need to show people that. Uh, let me show you. <laughs> that's, that's I need to show you. That's in full. Um, and that's how fun is our huge studio. Everything just happened at the same time. And I just decided to steal people's headset for some reason. Not cool. Listen, Q has been a mad scientist today. If you could only be in here right now. The amount of anxiety is <laughs> intense. It's, it's, it's off the chart. Yeah. It's off the chart. Okay, let me but bring on it's the- it's a madhouse. Okay, so now, uh, Kitty, can you check out the screen to make sure that you see the computer screen right now? Yeah, that's good. Uh, no, uh, you can see the, you know, the screen or my screen right here. So I, I have a new screen cover my face. So make sure you see it. And let me know when you see it. And viewer, let me know you actually see it as well. So right now, I'm casting my screen, my full setup for you to really see my entire routing. Uh, yeah, it, it is complicated. We have literally uh, it, yeah. 19 layer of stuff route together to make this simple live stream. So that is your blueprint for people. So again, what am I using? I'm using this thing called the VMAX 4K. Huge shout out to Wolfgang from Germany, and he's actually the person to get. Yeah, V Max. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wukeng, uh, I forgot his last name, uh, but I will put his uh, information in the description here. And he got me into this software, and, and I actually bought it full price, right? Uh, it's not a sponsored content. Uh, watch out, Kimchi gonna. Uh, can you get Kimchi uh -oh, out? Oh, Kimchi's about to break down the whole thing. Yeah, Kimchi gonna take out my entire live stream set. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, let's get him out. Thank you, Kitty. Yeah, let's get him out, please. Get him out. It's, it's nerve wracking, please. This is nerve wracking. Uh, so, yeah, you never bring a dog in the live set. Um, yeah, this turned into a full comedy show right here. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I, want, I want to show you guys uh, my setup. So, uh, VMAX, again, this is not a sponsored content. Uh, I paid 700 to to bought the software to test this for you. And that is the secret source of this whole setup, right? Everything goes through this software and I mean, do live switching. So I can, I can quickly demo it for you, right? Uh, if you, let's say that I gotta queue up the outside and then I'm gonna show the outside. Again, now you can see it. Let me queue back up. But you see that I can easily just queue on the left screen and then push it out on the right screen. And that's how easy to, to switch camera, and again, audio is so controlled for a different bus right here, and the bus right see is coming out from my professional mixer. So again, I don't want to live stream about uh, the actual setup of this, uh, of this setup, uh, because that should be a dedicated tutorial to teach you how I route everything, and how I do picture-in-picture -picture live graphic, uh, how I do uh, multi-camera stream setup. Again, uh, I just want to show you, you can't just go RTSP uh, from from VMAX because uh, it's actually got a glitch. There's a lot of like, you know, clunky stuff happening there. And I figured out actually go to route to uh, VLC, which is a player, a free player. I route the signal into VLC as an uh, RTSP. And from VLC, I pine a signal into VMAX. Again, by the way, you guys can do this exact same thing on OBS. I'm not saying that a free software can't do it. You can do it in OBS. Uh, 
I it just doesn't reach the professional quality I, I want on OBS. It's free and it's, it's easy to crash and, and some of the camera just not working correctly. That's why I, I switched to Remix. Remix worked perfectly for HDMI. Uh, so the cool cam AK, it's my main camera capture me right now. Uh, that can't go down. I mean kimchi almost took it down, but the camera can't go down. If you go down, uh, that's your that's your main camera. And then all the other camera, SDI, uh, uh, not SDI, NDI camera or RTSB camera can go down and, and at least you have one camera standing, you still okay in a live scenario. Uh, but but uh, as I said, right, uh, RTSP uh, is not an ideal scenario. They might have delayed, they might go down, uh, they might they might have um what's the kimchi button? Uh, yeah, they might have all kind of stuff. Uh, don't don't go over there. Yeah, yeah, that is the cable that we drag and the entire. Yeah, kimchi outside. Yeah, we're we're pushing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, we we it's a madhouse here. I want to make sure that kimchi does. Q is not the best at managing cords, <laughs> but it works. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, I I should have my AC to manage cords, but uh, I am just the engineer. Uh, so now, yeah, uh, I really want to show you the remix window. Um, but again, I'm going to break down my entire workflow, how to build all this, what cable to buy, what camera to consider, uh, what capture card you, ne you, you need, how to build your laptop so you can handle stuff like this. Uh, if you see my black magic camera right here on this angle, that side, you see like it's a crazy input in here too, like probably to organize them. And then uh, you also see like 2D control in here. So I will break down the whole thing, like now you have a list of st stuff you need to really help you to create this uh, immersive live stream for your business. So you can run it by yourself, like what I did just now. So Kitty, I need you to read comments. Is there any Q&A? Any comment so far? Yeah, I've kept you up to date on all the comments. Okay, so we'll just make sure that if you have... Uh, the Oh, okay. I, I actually that that that's is, a whole different topic. This is a whole different topic, and actually, I have some great news. Uh, I can't share it at this moment. Uh, I have to save it on my next video on that. Uh, uh, I just want to make sure that I don't say NDA stuff in life. So sorry, guys. I, I can't tell you yet, but something exciting coming up. Um, I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Kitty, please, please, like, don't say it as well if you know that. I don't even know what you're talking about. So. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, if you see the part one of the live stream, I'm sorry I missed you in part one. I wonder if we set it in your part two. And again, uh, we both, me and Kitty, put in a lot of hard work. So if you can send some sticker, buy some coffee, follow up on Instagram, uh, our handle's there. And really, really appreciate it. Give this video a like, share it to your nerdy friend who trying to figure out live stream in 360 or want to try live stream in 360. Uh, I, I think it's a new medium and you can really watch it in this brand new headset right here, the Pico Neo 3, which reveal coming next on that camera, but not for gamer, uh, but for it's for VR filmmaker. Uh, and, and I love this headset for watching video uh, for three top stuff. So I'm gonna review a whole thing about this Oculus Quest 2 killer next right there. But yeah, um, you can really bring your viewer in the virtual world and that is the goal of Create it up here. I'm sort of ramble a little bit at the end. What can you, what can you use live streaming for, like in VR? Oh yeah, what good. Are you gonna use it good for? question. So uh, I gonna use it for uh, interview director. I think uh, what you just see the implication of it, right? There's a lot of great director, uh, producer around Hollywood area make amazing film, both in 360 VR and also in 2D. And I want to invite them into this studio, uh, my studio or their studio. I'll bring this thing to them and really like interview them, multi-camera on set, offset uh, in the green room and showcase their work. Uh, I think that is a, it's a great possibility uh, to me. That's what I'm passionate about. I want to learn about the film magic behind camera. And that's what I'm going to use. And other thing I'm going to use is live music production, uh, which you know already, you follow Creator Up. We do recently a lot of light music production. Uh, so I think it would be great to have a live element into it so you can actually watch it live at the same time. Why not we have this fancy live mixer scenario, now we can have absolutely best audio quality. As you hear, the audio should be pretty good. So uh, we can really use this setup um, to really like feature the artist 
be special for music. Um, and then um, the next question is, does it require a lot of bandwidth to live stream? So you see. Or can it be done mobile? Uh, well, no, you can't be in mobile. Uh, I'm using my home internet, but I don't have the world fastest internet in my house. I'm just, it's, it's a consumer house. It's, it's my garage. Look at you looking at my garage right now. So we don't have a really good Wi-Fi uh, or internet. It yeah, works. You have good Wi-Fi. It's okay Wi-Fi, standard Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm better than East Coast. Yeah, well, standard Wi-Fi in West Coast. But uh, I don't think in US right now you can go up mobile uh, because 5G coverage is still very limited. Uh, so I mean, China maybe, or another country maybe, we have better 5G signal. In US, uh, I mean, I mean, we need to catch up on the speed. Why? So why now? I would say no, definitely not for multi-camera live stream. But for one camera live stream, maybe, but probably not 4K. Probably you drop it off to like, you know, 2.7K. But the one x two, uh, you can go live with that with the mobile. Any more question from our viewers? No, it's just shout out for Mississippi. Nice, Woo! nice. Okay, guys. Hey, Thank you, thank you for watching this again a second time. I'm sorry the first time we fell. Uh, hopefully you get a lot from this master class. Uh, we have the actual master class in our master class. We teach everything you need to know the how to do professional level live stream. This is a madhouse, uh, but what I will teach you is actually using a dead link card. Look down right there. Uh, using Insta360 Pro 2, Titan, uh, get AK signal out. How do I use the, the brand new headset, the Pico Neo 3 right here, to receive AK, to watch live locally. You, you should um, switch back to the main screen. The main screen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can't see you. Huh. Uh, next question is for there, will there be a delay if I shoot? with the same 360 camera, can you see? Yes, so they will. Uh, so I might talk really fast, the issue here. So depending on what is your input. Is the NDI input? Actually, that will be my next tutorial. Well, probably we'll put it in, into the actual masterclass. So uh, the ideal scenario is you should convert your CoolCam AK HDMI into an NDI source using Touch Designer or what, what, what they're gonna use, and then pipe that in back into VMAX. Uh, NDI source, especially NDI5, is more reliable signal than HDMI, and then a lot more reliable than RTSP. Uh, so if you have RTSP, you have 300 millisecond buffer, at least minimal, to make a pretty smooth live stream. Live stream. So everything you have buffer there, meaning that camera in between camera has to be off sync. It's actually, if you pay attention to this setup, there's a minor, minor off sync here as well. So how to, how to do that inside VMAX, you can, literally manually off-sync different video and make them sync. So pre-production is very important for this thing. Uh, you need to spend a lot of time to make sure each camera sync. Uh, but my suggestion is, if you can use like five cookie making enterprise, go through all HDMI into a crazy black magic setup, that probably the best solution to avoid syncing issue, or just use RTSP streaming uh, using OLED panel camera, and that will sync up its own. So, Mixing camera with mixing cable might have issue, but it's not a huge issue. You can sync that. You just need more experience to sync the video and audio in post. I mean, not in post, like live. Uh, I think that should cover everything. Again, I will see you again in our actual master class to break down this entire setup, blueprint, uh, uh, hopefully just give you everything you need so you can run your live stream without without kimchi around <laughs> to put down your entire set. Uh, but I mean, seriously. Hey, keep it interesting. Keep it interesting. But seriously, like, uh, I, I hope you guys can really bring a new solution to uh, in pandemic, really help small, medium business artists to promote their art, to make sure to get them closer to their viewer. And, and that is the goal of this channel. Uh, so. Do one more run through of what cameras you're using. Can you switch to them? Yeah, okay. let's, let's do one more, one last time. So uh, right here, only have one camera because the Sony died, but we have the Black Magic 6K right here capturing this angle. Uh, and then this camera is a cool cam, AK Enterprise, going in with the HDMI through a cam link into 4K input in 60 or 30 frames per second. And then, second camera we have is the really high quality. Oh, now it's actually really nice outside. You see a sunset reflection, amazing. Uh, 
egg and kimchi laying down right there. And that is a tech key to succeed anywhere. It is the best resolution camera on its own player. I don't know how it looked actually going through vMix and um, the quality of my job because it had to go through third software. Uh, but this camera is a great camera, really reliable, will never go down on you. Uh, also really expensive, obviously. Uh, and then we have our third camera, uh, which one of my all time favor, let me just fit it into it. Right here, also look at the sunset. Uh, that is the lab panel pilot era. Very OD camera, like two, two years old, uh, very underrated. Uh, you probably get it for pretty cheap right now on eBay as well because people are selling it. Uh, but it's an AK camera, really reliable on live stream. This thing's going on Wi-Fi right now, so it's kind of insane. And then we have the next camera. Boom! And that we have the lab panel Pilot 1 EE. That is the new Pilot 1 new lab panel camera. Uh, also great camera, it's really small. Also on mobile right now, but you can connect to Ethernet and audio and really build this whole thing out. But bare bone, you can go live on 5G. That is one of the cameras that you can really go live on 5G with mobile. So if you can just consider live, really want to just go without cable, uh, want to rely on a 5G to go live, and this is the camera you should research into. And also not that expensive. And, and we're supposed to have the InStar Vision Pro 2 as well, but I want to save that for a professional tutorial because that's more complicated. Uh, requires stitching, right? Live stitching, which is a nightmare. Uh, so uh, we can review that in our professional course uh, in live stream. So how much time uh, is a long live stream already, right? Um, so uh, one person said that they noticed that their cool cam 8K swelled up. Uh, I actually noticed that myself. Um, but when you push these cameras to the limits, um, anything could happen. Yeah, uh, so heat issue uh, is, is a big issue. Uh, so you, uh, go back to uh, your, that, that. Oh, Google Minkay, yeah, I'm not in Google Minkay. So uh, it's hard to like go live at the same time, you know, talking in front of a camera and switching at the same time. Uh, this would be some so other you're not piece. using a switcher at all? No, they're switching it right now. Uh, this is uh, my switcher, the computer is my switcher. So you can't use the uh, switcher? Yes, you can. Uh, Why are you not using one right now? Well, I need a MIDI controller and really program it. Uh, oh. I don't have time to do it. Uh, but yes. What uh, is that though? What is this? This is A10 MIDI Pro. Uh, the Black Magic is switching the 2D camera. Oh, uh, it's just the 2D. Got it. Yeah. You, so you don't have a switcher for the Yeah. Kitty is not paying attention to the part one of the of the speak. When Sorry, I was playing with kimchi. When I mentioned about the, the A10 Mini Pro and the limitation in, in a switcher. Um, so that's why we had to go virtual switcher. But virtual switcher can also wire in a drum machine to do a physical switcher as well. So What it's, do you recommend to live stitch on set for the Insta360 Pro? So they can have as their preview. So I will recommend Voices. Voices is a professional uh, software that we use on our Special Olympic uh, live stream uh, with Samsung camera, uh, Samsung round, but you can also work with Insta360 Pro 2, Titan, or you name it, any camera, Ozo as well. So that if you need a live uh, stitching, you need that software, which is very expensive. But Insta have their own software also cost money, but you can buy their professional license. And then they have this whole thing to help you stitch them in Insta software and then put everything to that link card right there. And then you can have AK output, which give you amazing quality. And if you have fiber optic, uh, Revison did a crazy collab with, uh, with NFL team. Uh, they actually get an AK live stream from the Pro 2 all the way to a uh, different stadium so people can watch it live, which, which, uh, uh, which is pretty impressive. So uh, what I mean is, Live stream can get very pro, very fast, and very expensive. So know your end goal, know your budget, know your client need. Uh, it's very important. Like, like don't just throwing money on expensive toys. You don't need expensive toy to do VR live stream. Uh, you need to learn the need from your client first. That's, that's my tips. But yeah. Um, okay, I think uh, we should wrap here. Uh, again, uh, please subscribe if you are new here. Give this video a thumb up, comment, comment, ask any, everything you want to learn in the actual masterclass of this VR live stream, and I will get all the notes and make a great video. Uh, maybe less kimchi, uh, uh, more actual knowledge for you. Uh, 
and so you can really like get to work. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. I'll see you in VR. Okay, Kitty, can you end the live stream for me? Yes, please end it. Why do you want to end it, Hugh? We're, we're having such a good time. Uh, how many people watching? 26. I need more people to watching our live stream. Anyway, uh, please, uh -oh. <laughs> please, please, please end it. Please end it. Uh, Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Are because the next video, we're going to review that, that Pico. Oh, Neo, really? Neo 3. And, and do you have any previews? Uh, no, we don't have any preview yet. Uh, no, I mean like info that you want to tell. Uh, I'll keep it to the next video. It's, okay, okay. it's exciting. Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, Bye. Guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for coming.